I thought I never heard of UiPath until I went to the charts and saw that I had marked it up once upon a time. And from the weekly chart, you can see how the weekly bias level at 1350 held once, held a second time, but if price continues to decline, it's going to go further down as this zone is really no longer valid as there are no remaining unfilled orders. Before we continue with the analysis, let's look at this quick article. It's coming from The Motley Fool. Should you buy one of Kathy Wood's top AI stocks, which I didn't know. So many know that Kathy Wood's only invests in innovative companies. Her largest holding is in Tesla, but her fourth largest holding is in this UI path. ARK Invest ETFs owns nearly 10% of all UiPath stock worth more than $800 million. Now, what does the company do? They're a business that takes repetitive tasks and automates it via robotic process automation. Now, what UiPath does is they combine RPA with AI. Think of it as the AI is the brain and RPA are the hands. When combined, the complex task can be completed relatively quicker, at least faster than any human. Now let's talk about the finances of UiPath. And when I went over this article, I want to look at the stock even more. I want to put it on my radar. So UiPath is still a young and growing company in the fiscal year of 2024, first quarter, which ended April 30th, its revenue rose 18% year over year to $290 million, while its annual reoccurring revenue, also known as ARR, rocketed 28% higher to $1.25 billion. UPath lost $46 million from operations, indicating a 16% operating loss margin. However, they do have some free cash flow, and that's important. In fiscal Q1, it produced 60 six million in free cash flow a solid 23 percent of margin while that's not true profitability because it does not factor in stock based compensation positive free cash flow allows the company to self-fund and push towards true profitability now when it comes to price to sales ratio uh, they're trading at nine times sales UPath looks like a bargain compared to many high flying ai stocks so with the nine times sales, that's roughly in the middle of the range going back the last couple of years. So it's compared to the price to sales ratio, it's fair value. Now, in terms of looking attractive relative to other companies, UiPath maintained its 23% free cash flow margin and achieved full, its full year guidance of 1.2 billion in revenue. It will generate 20, 292 million in free cash flow this year. That's on par with Microsoft and Adobe. However, UiPath is growing much faster, so it looks more attractive in terms of free cash flow. Now, U UiPath's operating margin has substantially improved over the past few quarters, rising from a high of 40% loss in last year's Q1 and Q2 to around 16% loss in the last two quarters. All right, so let's go back to the charts and let's zoom out to the monthly chart. And I originally had a target at $22 due to selling wicks however price could not get up to that level it fell short by two dollars and you can see on the monthly chart price has been range bound however the bias is up Now when we go to the weekly chart, remember the bias is up. You can see price making a 
higher lows and higher highs. So price on the weekly chart is in an uptrend. And that uptrend was started when price made a double bottom. You can see the infamous W pattern. And typically when you get this bullish reversal formation you buy on pullbacks to the apex of the W in this case price formed a weekly bias level before moving higher again the zone worked the first time it worked the second time I don't anticipate it working a third time however it has to be respected until you get definitive closes below the zone. Take for this example, even though the weekly ch candle closed below, the following week it opened higher and closed higher. All right, let's go down to the daily chart. Now for the bulls out there, you can see price is right at the 200 day moving average, which should serve as dynamic support. However, you have the 100, 50, 26, 13, and the nine daily moving average now serving as resistance. Looking at the volume, you had a lot of volume come in around earnings. Volume came in at earnings again. So it seemed like the high volume days is surrounding earnings. You have earnings next month on September 6th. So I anticipate price kind of being range bound until that time. Now for conservative investors, you want to see another level of interest form in the form of buyers because price did not take out the resistance at $22. For the aggressive traders you want to go to the daily chart and look for some type of reversal pattern it could be in the form of a W it could be in the form of high volume it could be in the form of bullish engulfing candles but RSI is pointing down trading volume is uh, below average so UI path is a dead stock for now I anticipate fireworks beginning prior to and after earnings thanks for watching subscribe please like the video